Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's black. I get it. Yeah. Oh, that, that actually worked kind of. It is Friday the 13th of March and my name is Claire if you're new here I am a master's student at the University of Exeter and I study maths and I haven't vlogged in a while my schedule's got really busy I've had a lot of university work on and YouTube's had to kind of take a back seat on that but with all the outbreaks recently I'm not sure how much longer my university is going to be open and as this is my final term of my final year these next couple of days might be my last ever days of lectures. So <laughs> welcome to another university vlog. My plan for today is I have a two hour lecture this afternoon. Um, it's advanced probability theory. And I was meant to have a lecture this morning, but on top of all the virus outbreaks, we in the UK have been having lecturer strikes. So a lot of my classes haven't been on. Um, and the lecture I was supposed to have this morning has not been on for the last four weeks. So yeah, <laughs> had the morning off and I have a couple of things that I need to do quite urgently. I need to get some coursework ready to print because I want to print that in the library this afternoon just because I don't have a printer in my room. In the worst case scenario, I'll borrow one of my flatmates printers, but I don't know how much longer campus is gonna be open and I need to print this off. So I'm gonna print it off today. Um, that's some graphs and some computer code for a coursework in option pricing. And the other thing I urgently need to do is go through some probability theory coursework because I am I have the lecture this afternoon and I want to ask some questions afterwards. Again, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to go to campus and ask my lecturers questions in person. We can always email them questions, but I always find that it's so much easier with maths to have it in front of you and explain in words what you're stuck on instead of trying to explain it over an email. I am going to try and get all of my questions asked today which is a bit of a push considering the coursework isn't due in until mid-April and it's now mid-March and I really haven't done an awful lot of it but this morning I'm really gonna just bash it out, do as much of this course or at least look over as much of this coursework as I can, get my questions all sorted out so I can ask them today. So right now I'm getting my option pricing coursework ready to print off. Essentially what I had to do for part of it is we had to program um, a couple of things and then plot the results of that program essentially for anyone who's actually interested we're pricing an option using the Monte Carlo method and the binomial method and like comparing them. For part of this coursework we were given a piece of code and we just had to adjust it and then also vary the amount of time steps and plot that and for the other piece of code that we had to do we weren't given the code but we were told where we could find a pseudo code which is essentially a code but it hasn't been written in a programming language it's kind of written in English but you're told the steps which you just have to program so I mean it's slightly harder than modifying an existing code but it's still not like I had to come up with this all on my own I just found it in a book and wrote the pseudo code as actual programming language and then I had to plot that as well, uh, varying a different parameter. So anyway, that was the boring explanation of what I had to do for this coursework. But what I've got left to do is I need to get the plots in a format that I can print them. So I think I'm just going to screenshot them and put them into a Word document so I can print them off. And I also need to comment the code because right now it's just a load of code with no explanation. And when you write a piece of code, you're supposed to comment it so that people reading your code can kind of see what you're doing. Uh, so that's what's left to do for this course work before I print this off. All right, I am all done. Let me just show you. Here's my code, nice and commented up. There's my graph. The spiky part of the graph is what my program is calculating and the straight line through the middle is theoretically what it should be according to an equation called the black skulls equation. All right, I just chucked all of my code and all of my graphs into a word file to print off and now I'm gonna go grab a lunch. We've just finished our theory lecture and we've been hit with a bombshell that we're probably not gonna have um, the normal exam, we're probably going to get difficult problems to take home, which means that we don't get any marks for definitions and things like that, which are the only marks that I'm capable of doing in this lecture series. So <laughs> that's going to be fun for us. How did you feel about that lecture, Callum? Oh, loud, didn't I? How did you feel about that lecture? I'm trying to remain calm. 
<laughs> we don't know yet. I need to head to the library to print something off and say, okay, cool. Yeah, now that it's stopped right raining, to, yeah. campus is looking very pretty. We're just back from uni, popped to Tesco's. I got myself a cake and having tea. All right, Callum, how did you find your, potentially your last ever lecture? Super repetitive. Did you? <laughs> Callum no, was on no. his phone. <laughs> Where would you say advanced probability theory ranks in terms of all the modules that you've taken in your four years of university? Um, this is good advice for anyone who's doing, who's going to do maths <coughs> extra. See, I've got such a bad memory, it wasn't just blurred. We had one. some good ones last year. I would heavily recommend cryptography, combinatorics, stochastic processes. I did. I did a statistical modelling module that Callum didn't do, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Did you actually? I really liked that oh, one, yeah. I, in my head, everyone hated that one. Just no! Like and we had such a lovely lecturer How for that. That was lovely, Theo. How come you didn't do the class modelling on this year? I wanted to. Oh, I, I over the summer, Sorry. they looked, Callum just has no memory for this kind of thing. Over the summer, I had a whole dilemma. It was more than a dilemma, it was more of a like, full on breakdown because they moved one of my modules to term two, which I was supposed to do in term one. So I couldn't take it, so I had to take algebraic curves instead. Nice. So but I actually, in the end, quite enjoyed algebraic so what curves. Made you stay on probability theory? And um, pure idiocy, I think. <laughs> 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 should definitely in hind hindsight's 2020 i should definitely have changed my term two modules but in at, in the moment i was like they've moved it to term two so i can't do it anymore yeah. <laughs> i have regrets so yeah what's your, been your favorite module i think probably like content wise mm -hmm. combinatorics yeah i think teaching wise stochastic Definitely, because I know a lot of my audience are actually either Exeter students or people who are about to start at Exeter. If you take maths and if you're going into third year, pick stochastic processes. The lecture is amazing, the content's amazing. It's take that lecture. one. I printed off my option pricing coursework, so I've got that in case I can't um, access a printer later. And. I'm basically now just gonna relax for a bit. I do have a couple of coursework, but nothing urgent, and who knows when I'll be able to submit it. Oh, my eyeliner has gone everywhere. I've been walking around like this for hours. <laughs> gonna relax until dinner. I think Callum's gonna make a cake this evening. I got myself a cake earlier, so we're gonna treat ourselves. I am now gonna edit a bit because I am very behind on YouTube. I was gonna do weekly vlogs this term. I have been filming weekly, but I've only posted two of them so far, and it's week nine. So I should have been posting the eighth one around now, which clearly has not happened, but you know, I've been busy, I've had a degree to do, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it, and I'm just gonna get the third vlog finished today, I think, and hopefully post that today or tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do with my evening. Delicious, but slightly, slightly... Um, deformed? Deformed, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're hiding it with icing. It is now Friday evening and we're about to watch a movie. Callum's got his cake that he's icing. And we're not going to think about our university work at all. Absolutely not. One for the gram. No. One for the family chat. <laughs> I ate some carrot cake after dinner. A hefty chunk, now that I look at it. No, that's fine. Though. Quite a hefty chunk of carrot cake. It's not even half. Callum, look at it. Look how much is left. Look how much is left. It's so healthy. <laughs> I'm back in my university flat. I'm taking a break from studying and I'm gonna eat some food, drink a coffee, maybe do some editing or something fun and then I need to go back to my dissertation because I have not done everything that I wanted to do today so I need to get that done and then this evening Tasha's coming over and we're doing a flat game night which should be fun if you watched my week two vlog I think it was and um, we played an escape room game and we're playing another one today this time it's a virtual reality one which is actually very cool because you use like a phone and this headset that does this like virtual escape room that you move your head and it like moves where in the room you are, it's very cool. Anyway, we're playing that tonight. 
and we might also do a little bit of a cocktail night in the flat that's gonna be my evening and i of course will take you with me but now i need to make my coffee so let me just pop you on there you meant to put something in there yeah my phone oh it's really like it far exceeds expectations. Yeah, it's I'm actually excited. quite quite impressive. Okay, so how do you actually? If do anything, it, then? it was a little bit too immersive. Like we felt a bit sick in moments. Mm. <laughs> what are these then? These are the keys. We need four oh. keys to get out. We open this up. We get the things this is out. Like death patch. We have solved the puzzles. Okay. okay, on this, and we get we get a combination. Of okay, like so hang on. Four numbers. So this is the first one. This is the first one. Yeah. So we've got to solve three. So we get four oh. lots of combinations to get through. Okay, and you guys haven't done this one. This is a new no, one. No, this is a new one. Um, there's things on the side of this which we might need to use to decode things. And then VR, if you see a VR, it means that the clue's got oh, something yeah, to do with this. Oh yeah, virtual reality. And we right. have to, Are they all mathematical? Around. No. They're not really knowledge based. Yeah, there's, just, no, there's no maths involved. No, it's no. just, it's be like, in, oh. Yeah, in normal got, escape rooms, they're like patterns and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah, that. it's like or patterns. You, yeah, you've just got to spot things and. Or, I can spot some yeah, things. You might have to work things out, but it's not like maths, it's just like. Okay, it's not too much maths. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Yeah. Our sink is unblocking our sink. <laughs> our sink is locked at the moment. Um, it was fine Six last steps. night, but <laughs> this morning I came in to make my coffee and it was not draining very well. And then what happened this afternoon? We came in here and it, um, it just it was bad. It was bad. It just stopped draining whatsoever. A pee just came up. That might be me. <laughs> <laughs> we only want to eat it's been a conglomeration of things, mostly curry up to this point, but then a pee came out. <laughs> so yeah, we're having sink sink blockages right now. It's okay, yeah, Cassie's got her issue. Cassie's got her sink unblocker and her kettle of boiling water and she's gonna sort it out. Always are gonna see the sink from blocking. They, they will, will, you know they, they will deal with that I'm in a hel a helicopter? I think I'm in a helicopter. Okay. Right. Oh, we've got some pedals. Hang on. So, what am I looking for? Oh, we're not starting yet. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do it on the vlog? Yeah, let's try it. Can, can the vlog see the anything pedals, in there? Like me. Oh, you can kind of That's see. That's so cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that, that actually worked, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That worked better than I thought That's it was going to. That's not great in the vlog. Mm -hmm. well, okay. okay. Right, are we ready for mm. behind enemy lines? Okay. There we go. The time has come. Chaos. Chaos. We have crashed at any of these potential eight locations. <laughs> no idea why they locked them. Because who is trying to get into the library? Bad choice. We're in the group study tables area downstairs and it's absolutely chucking it down. The result of our walk to campus in the rain. It's like a line from where the rain was. It's not been a good morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. But luckily I've got my prep crust on. I'm a happy person. Oh, I'm sort of done. I'm sort of done, Claire. How long have we been here? Oh, About 45 seconds. I could say two minutes. <laughs> I need to pack up and go. Oh. oh, it's a bit soggy, isn't it? It's a little bit damp. Okay, so my game plan for today is I have a coursework that I've been meaning to write up. I told myself on Thursday I'd write it up and I still haven't done it. So locked myself in the library, got nothing better to do. I'm gonna write up my coursework. And I also have um, feedback from my dissertation draft that I handed into my supervisor, which I need to go through and make all the corrections. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of that today as well. It's a fun Sunday, isn't it? Just what we wanted to be doing. Why the only thing? 
this I feel is from the things that are unreal I want to make realize Given the chance to change it all, would I give it all I find? How would you rank this as a study area, the group group tables in the library? I ranking group tables. I think they're probably my favourite place to work. The only downside is that people come and kick you off like frequently. Mm -hmm. And that's very annoying. Yeah. You cannot find anywhere else to work. Because you can reserve these on the online system, no, right? You can only reserve one hour per week of anything at uni. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Because apparently that's what we need. So out of ten, how does the I would give it like a group solid, tables. solid six. Solid six. Solid six. Would on it... the weekends I'd say it's ten. What, why is it a 10 on weekends? Because people don't like coming to kick you off. <laughs> so it's a 6 with people in it, yeah. it's a 10 without people in it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your insight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end it there. Alright, we are on our way back from the library. Ooh. How many hours did we do? We did like 3 hours. Amazing. What are you having for dinner, Wait, Cassie? I don't know what it is called something, but it's in the bin. <laughs> Okay, well, but it's like I think it's like what was it? It was like ginger spicy rice <laughs> with like some egg, and we have some green beans. It looks fabulous. Like yes, and it's, what's the juice? This is power to the purple. <laughs> what's it got in it? <laughs> it's got like pomegranate, nice, and apple, and rose water, nice, and raspberry. See, this is how you do. Delicious. This is how you do a student meal: microwave and ready bought, but both so fab. Exactly, and also put in bowls, so it's like the illusion of I cooked it. <laughs> Callum, what are you having for dinner? Pizza. That's is every. Oh, <laughs> Do you want another chance at that? <laughs> take two, take two. Oh, I'm not gonna say, I can't <laughs> even say a Take two. Thank you, Cassandra. I'm having pizza. You're having a pizza. I'm having a pizza. Nice. Did nice. you make this pizza yourself? Yes. I Did you really? Dude. Was resting today. What was that? Yeah. What was that dough resting? I felt you searching for something to say about dough. What are we doing, people? Watching Hunt for the Wilder People. Woo! Movie night. Hey everyone, it's present day Claire and I'm just here to end this video because I didn't really film an ending for it at the time. But basically the vlog you've just watched leads directly into this video which I will have linked down below in case you want to see what happened next. I'll have a section on my channel which is just my master's vlogs because I know I have been kind of posting them all over the place and they're currently mixed in with all my other videos. So I'll have that there so you can kind of find them all in one place. This is also the very last of the footage that I had from university. so. This is the last university vlog and I wanted to say a massive thank you for watching these vlogs and for coming along with me. I had so much fun sharing this journey with you guys so yeah that was the last one and I know it was kind of out of date, obviously it was filmed before the virus and everything um, but because I get a lot of really nice comments about my university vlogs and because I know a lot of you probably found my channel because of those um, when I came across this footage I just thought I'll do one more, one last vlog and kind of close that chapter of my life so we're now moving on to graduate content. I've got the maths revision tips video coming soon because I know a couple of you asked me about that and I graduate this week so it felt like a nice time to be putting out the last university vlog. That's it from me. Hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.